We have known for many decades now that nearly 40% of all men, all biological male humans, lose their Y chromosomes as they age. Chromosomes are carried in the white blood cells and many men start to lose these bits of chromosomes from their cells as these cells divide. But this has not really been a big problem because genes used by male cells are all on the X chromosome and human males have one X and one Y. We haven't really understood the impact of losing Y chromosome material from cells, but new studies are now giving us insights into it. In the latest, researchers have discovered that as Y chromosome disappears from blood cells in male mice, scar tissue built up around their heart, leading to a reduced lifespan and sometimes heart failure. And since mice are so similar to humans, such findings from the lab on mice are also concerning to humans as well. The laws of Y chromosome is called Mosaic Laws of Y chromosome or M. Loy and it has been documented since 1963. As blood cells divide, a bit of the chromosome leaks out and then disintegrates in the fluid between cells. This happens throughout the body in bits and pieces from various white blood cells. This especially happens in men over the ages of 40 and 50. By the time they're 70, nearly 40% of biological males have lost some Y chromosomes. By the time they're 93, at least 57% of men have lost some of it. We don't know much about this loss of Y chromosome and how it affects metabolism. We have known that the size of the Y chromosome has been shrinking over millennia and this has since plateaued. At a more granular level, studies have shown that men who lose Y chromosomes live fewer years than those who don't. And from all of the studies that we have, the absolute single only way we know today to lower this loss of Y chromosomes from white blood cells in men is to stop smoking. It is the only option that is available. But the loss of Y chromosome has not been something that scientists have been alarmed over until now. Nearly all the genes required for metabolic function and everything else in males is also on the X chromosome. The Y chromosome comes into play only for reproduction and the genes the rest of the time in the chromosomes are not really thought to be useful. And this is nearly all that we know as an overview. However, as more scientists investigate the functions of these Y chromosomes and how their loss affects life in men, more and more data is becoming available about their impact. In 2014, researchers discovered that the loss of Y chromosome corresponds directly to an increased rate of cancer and increased death rates. Many other papers followed showing relationships between shortened lifespans due to various reasons, various cancers and tumors and heart disease with the loss of Y chromosome. Women also sometimes lose one of their two X chromosomes, but it is not as common or as frequent as the Y chromosome. Loss of an X in biological females also doesn't seem to lead to onset of diseases or changes in metabolism like the Y does, with one exception that we know of, which is lymphoid leukemia. But how exactly does the loss of Y chromosome affect health and cause disease? The answers were unclear until now, at least for cardiovascular disease. It is known that there are genetic changes that occur in our bodies as we age. When we say genetic changes, it does not mean things that get passed down to children. We are not talking about hereditary changes. Genetic is just of genes, so changes that occur in the genes in our bodies. These are somatic changes that don't get passed down to future generations and genes regulate processes in our bodies. So what happens there as we age and grow old is highly important. Case in point, as people age, there is a genetic loss of function that occurs in a specific area. Some genes start to lose their ability to function and get switched off by mutating when cells divide. One particular mutation in blood cells and the bone marrow leads to an increased risk of heart disease and cancer. All of this is not new. We already know that cancer and heart patients below the age of say 30 are not as common as those above 50 or 60, unfortunately. 
This happens because of genetic mutations that occur in our bodies as we age. But how does the Y chromosome come into picture here? One of the things that is well established is that males lose Y chromosomes as they age. So this group of researchers set about trying to investigate a pattern into the loss of Y chromosome through aging and effects of aging in terms of diseases and cardiovascular health. They experimented on mice in the lab and mice are typically used because they're so close to humans and also work on very quick time scales. When the Y chromosomes in mice started to suffer from mosaic loss, the mice aged very poorly, say the researchers. They started to have heart disease, strokes, issues with kidneys and lungs and hearts where scar tissue developed, their brains functioned less effectively and their lifespan was reduced. When the researchers examined genetic data from thousands and thousands of biological male humans from biobanks, they noticed that those with mosaic loss of Y chromosome had a 41% increased risk of dying from any cause and had a 31% increased risk of dying from a cardiovascular issue. The more the number of cells losing Y chromosomes around the body, the greater the risk. And all these mice in the study were dying precisely because of this buildup of scar tissue around their hearts and other organs. This effectively led to the onset of cardiovascular disease and sometimes eventual cardiac failure. The findings suggest that it is possible that even though genes in the Y chromosome don't directly affect the body or metabolism normally, they regulate functions of other genes. And this is a lot more that we know than previously about the function of Y chromosomes and the impact of their loss. These findings are very important. But they're one of those important findings where nothing can really be done immediately without more research and more data. For now, the only known way to lower the loss of Y chromosome is by not smoking or stopping smoking. There are literally no other drugs or therapy or surgeries to fix this. In these mice, the researchers were able to genetically block the production of a cytokine or a protein that is associated with scar tissue buildup. So they were able to prevent scar tissue buildup around the heart in these mice. But this protein is also involved in anti-inflammatory functions. It plays a key role in the immune system, it helps in regulating it, and it helps in healing wounds. It also helps in regulating genes that are involved with cancer. Fiddling with this protein can cause effects that we are unaware of. So we can't directly just block these proteins in humans to prevent scar tissue buildup around the heart. Until we know more, there isn't much to do except avoiding smoking. But the field of work into Y chromosome loss is expanding steadily. As we make more advances with data and technology, hopefully more and more data will come out about the impact of Y chromosome loss and what can be done about it.